In Applied Mycology News, a popular mechanics article by Caroline Delbert, scientists have discovered that a long-time fungal resident of Chernobyl complex could actually eat radiation. Scientists have known about this fungus and similar extremophile organisms that can thrive on radiation since at least 2007. The publication Nature said the variety found in Chernobyl can decompose radioactive materials such as hot graphite in the remains of the Chernobyl reactor. The fungus grows toward the hottest and most radioactive places like phototropism but for deadly toxins. How can this fungus process radiation in this way? Because it has tons of very dark melanin pigment that absorbs the radiation and processes it in a harmless way to produce energy. Scientists believe this mechanism could be used to make biomimicking substances that both block radiation from penetrating and turn it into a renewable energy source. All I can say is cool. I hope there are people working on how to turn radioactive isotope eating mushrooms into electric power plants. On the internet, no mushroom story is complete without a troll. The Mycophiles acquired its first troll with the comment, not again, upon the release of the second episode. Congratulations troll, your certificate of achievement will be sent to under your bridge. In the Mushroom News news, Fungi Mag is going online. Executive Director Britt A. Bunyard announced to the Mushroom Hour podcast that the print-only magazine is now online. No snide remarks on this, it just makes me enormously happy. Don't worry for all you tactile, holding your hands loving people, the print version will continue. Get your past issues bundle for 50 bucks before you can't. Don't forget to support your local mushroom farmers, festivals, and forays. The Telluride Mushroom Festival 2021 is back and in person August 18th through the 22nd. Get your tickets here. For all you content creators, the Fungi Film Fest 2021 is back and the submission deadline is August 31st. Get more info here.